in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Well, I thought we had to kick this thing off the right way, folks. I'm going for a double whammy, if I can find where the house place actually is. It's over here. Oh, it was down there. My bad. No longer is Woody Wild a homeless man free from his father's backyard. I'm going to do a two-in-one. I got enough money for a house right here, baby. And we've got one. And I've also got an adamant scimitar. Now, I can't actually get to my house because it's in Remington. I don't have magic levels to teleport there, but we have a house <laughs> somewhere. Can we eventually relocate? The first available one would be Hosidius, which would require construction levels, so we'd have to teleport into our house before then. Although we can do daddy's home for some teletubs and construction supplies. Okay, and then we got the Addy Sim as well, so that's another task. Two done, just like that. Buy a house from the Valoir estate agent and obtain and equip an adamant item. We just have three tasks left until we're allowed to enter Mistelin and Potsarim as a modified Mistelin region. So yeah, feeling pretty good right now. We're sort of going to work our way towards Twilight's Promise as the main goal and, and pick up the other tasks along the way like we have done with these. Keep working on our prayer so we can get that Bone Shards at the Libation Bowl 1 and to try and get as many air runes as possible so we can level up our magic to create a piece of enchanted jewellery. I did also manage to acquire one sapphire in my travels while mining, so yeah, we did get a sapphire, so I can create it from scratch. I didn't know it wasn't like a requirement for me to do it from scratch entirely. I just had to basically get, get an equip one, same as the adamant item. Uh, but I did say create, so it makes sense for me to create from scratch, seeing as though I did get that sapphire already. I haven't cut it or anything, so I don't have any crafting levels. So I'm going to figure out how to get crafting levels. I think clay is probably the only option. I suppose I could blow glass as well. I could blow glass. That'll work. There's a char ship. The furnace is between the charter ship and the bank. That'll work. We can get the crafting levels easily. Oh, a drunk dwarf. That's like the worst one. I did dismiss a frog earlier as well. I think they might be able to give you lamps now if you get all the items. But I had a full inventory at the time. So I didn't want to drop an iron ore for a frog token. And yeah, I got these myth legs ready. We're going to go up to 20 defense after I've got this 30 strength done. Now that we've got our Addy Sim equipped. And I'm going to go back to the thieves to find out how much more effective it is. Once I've got 30, 30, 20, I think I'm going to go back to the bandits and see how we fare against them. Now that we've improved our stats quite a considerable margin. Oh, and in other news, I sold my bank. I don't need a construction guide. Look at it, it's also neat. Yay, I never got to do this with one hour limit locked because I was always under time pressure, but in this I just get to chill and go, yeah, I'll, I'll organise my bank for a bit. We also did get our mining up to 34, by the way. We can wield an Addy pick, but there's nowhere we can get one at all. Not until Cantorum, so yeah. Same for Myth, there's nowhere we can get one. Not until we add, I think... The easiest way for us to get one would be Hunter levels. Do we get an improved max hit? I want to see a 6. Show me something for all this hard work. Oh, we're still max hitting 5s. Should be more accurate at least. Also got the Iron Kite Shield now instead of a Bronze Square. Since I leveled up my smithing a few times while making that money. I should upgrade that one, so slightly better defensive bonus off that. 
There isn't a shield shop within Valamore, or at least I haven't found a place that sells shields, so having to make my own in that regard, it's always going to be a bit behind the other gear. I bet we can hit six with Pro, can't we? Yeah, that was a five that wasn't a max hit when I was flicking my Pro. Annoying, that means I should be flicking. There was the six. Okay, I think we can hit sixes without the Pro now, it looked like. It looked like a 5 that wasn't a max then, but yeah, 5, that's not a max. Perfect, I don't have to flick. Good DPS here. We are chilling. There is 30 strength coming through. I am just going to top up my defense because I don't think it'll take very long to just get up to 20 so we can wear our myth legs. And then I have uh, another plan for what I want to do just to finish off my day here because I'm getting tired now so we'll be bedtime soon oh we're hitting fives again on the defensive style though sixes with prayer how have I just realized this this iron is way closer to the bank than this iron if I go here and here I could do it now I did check the bank inside the guild to see if you could use it without having the hunter level to be a part of the guild if you talk to the banker uh, if you click the bank option on the banker he tells you you can't use it you're not a part of the guild but if you just click the bank chest it works so i know that that works that's gonna speed up iron mining both for iron and steel which is the next portion we still need iron ore for steel so we would have to get our coal still from the other mine but that's actually huge I wish I'd known that like three hours ago. Well, I did know that like three hours ago. I just forgot about it. I wish I hadn't. We are starting to take a lot less damage now that the defense levels are getting a bit higher, which is nice. And there is 18 defense. I'll finish at up 20 after I've had a smoke and then move on to my last task of the day. There is the 20 defense coming in. Right, I want to see if we can get anything out of these air runes. If we can get a level, maybe two or more. I don't know. But I'm going to see what we can make work here. And I'm going to attack guards because they have a minus four magic defense. I'm hoping it'll make me more likely to hit. Get some extra XP through hitting damage numbers. I'm just going to see if I can find a guard that I can safe spot over something because they might hurt me when I'm in robes. The guards are really, yeah, there's some over here. I'm sure I can cast over this, right? Perfect. And yes, I am going to... In fact, I'm just going to leave my prayer on. There's an altar right there, so... There's two magic, baby. Come on, let's get another level. You can do it. Apparently this is going to last two minutes. Probably longer than the air runes. What goes first? 40 air runes or 4 prayer points? Level 3 magic! Oh, we're getting closer to water strike. Just coins on the drop, unfortunately. Now, the reason that I thought it would be cool to see if we could kill one or two of these is because they drop runes as well, like everything else that we are currently trying to kill. They also drop seeds, and the most common one, a 1 in 19 drop, is potato seeds, which would be exactly what we need to unlock farming. But any seed we could potentially unlock farming with if it's a low-level seed, because we could rake, theoretically, for early levels. See if we can get another one down. Level 4 magic, baby! I don't think we'll get 5. Not off this, but level 4 is big. We can actually enchant some crossbow bolts. I don't think there's any crossbow. Like, there's no way we could get opal bolt tips, right? But, I don't know, maybe. Maybe we can finagle something. We'd still need cosmic runes as well, though, I imagine. We did just get one more guard down, but only coins again. And I've only got three casts left, so that is not going to kill a guard. I guess I'll just attack a guard anyway. Use them. Okay, so we got up to level four magic. Opal tipped bolts would be one cosmic. You need air runes, for fuck's sake. Of course we need air runes. What was I thinking? Confuse needs body runes, so we can't do that one either. The first spell that we get that doesn't need air runes is 
level one enchant cosmic and water. Oh, we can finally wear our myth plate legs as well. Look at us go. We are starting to look like an absolute machine in our mismatched gear here. But it's coming together bit by bit, little by little. We're getting there. I can sell these now to make sure we get all our value back. I think um, I'm not going to be on for much longer. So I think for the rest of the day, I'm just going to take iron back and forth between this bank and this little pit. Just for however much longer I'm up while I'm winding down before bed. Because I can't be able to record anything and that's uninteresting enough that I don't need to record it. And then tomorrow we'll probably be trying our luck with some bandits. Seeing if they give us any better rune drops than the thieves did. 421 killed, and we got 40 air runes for it, 5 drops. They're supposed to be a 1 in 32, right? Not ideal. 600 coins for this, though. He's a bargain. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, I apologize for the horrible camera right now. I wasn't, like, so to record. I haven't gone to bed yet. I was doing a bit of mining. The new spot's great, by the way. And I got the third one of these, for real. This could be the magic XP that gets us a large chunk further. Or it could be fishing again. I thought I'd best record for the big moment. Please give me that magic. <sighs> How do we get that event three times and it's fishing every time, man? We're at 13 fishing just from Bob event. Okay, night. <laughs> I just need to say off the bat. I looked up the Bob, the evil Bob thing, and you can only get the magic XP if you're above level 51 magic. Something to do with not ruining pure accounts. Thanks, JGX. Turns out, what are the chances of that happening three times are actually uh, 100%. Mm. Idiot. Also, hi. In other news, I've been hard at work getting metal out of the ground, but I've encountered a small issue. I got quite a lot of iron from the other mine going from here to here like i said i was going to do at the end of last night and it was really way quicker than going from here to here so anytime i'm getting iron i'm using this mine it's way better but for the coal i have to come all the way back down here still and it's very slow i mean it's not really an issue it's just a minor inconvenience yeah all right and it could just be a potential time sink I th I'm starting to feel like it might be faster, like it'll make me money faster, to just go with iron. Because originally I was thinking it was one to one, it turns out it's actually two to one. You need two coal per iron to make a steel bar. And when I was thinking it was one to one, I was like, okay, that's fine. It just means I have to make twice as many trips. But you have to make twice as many trips anyway, because iron only succeeds half the time. So in my head, that was completely fine. It was just an upgrade. But now that I need to make three times as many trips, and two of the three trips are twice as slow, if not more, than the others. Like, it really was quick going back and forth from the other iron mines. I'm starting to think it's not worth it to get coal. Because this isn't always going to be our best method of getting coal, right? Like, we're going to have tons of good ways to get coal. There's on Revenant drop table, Willy drop tables. You know, we've got different chests that we can access. We've got Sulfan and Gua drop lo low level ores and coal in quite mass noted. So, like, we've got plenty of ways to get coal in the future. It's not a problem long term, but right now, our best method is running back and forth here and it fucking sucks and we need two per one so i'm thinking i'm just gonna finish off this trip of the coal do whatever i can into steel and then i'm just gonna make iron plate bodies because they'll sell for a decent amount anyway and the iron's just way quicker i'm almost done with my money making for now anyway though i did just want to get that myth plate body which i will be able to get after i've actually smelled down my ores now but yeah that's the conundrum i'm currently in and how i'm planning to resolve it up to three sapphires now. Regardless of what we end up doing with this, I'm probably going to turn it into iron. Like I say, it is, in fact, time to make our very first steel bars on the account. I got too much there, didn't I? That's wrong. I could have fit one more, one more iron. 999 with a one spare. And we actually can't make iron plate bodies yet, but we can make iron plate legs. Next level, not yet. Nope, we can't make them yet either. Okay. 
Hopefully, after we've actually made these bars, we'll gain a smithing level, but I'm not 100%. And that is the last of our coal. The rest of this is going to have to go into iron. Just need one of these to work. There we go. 31 smithing. We can make the iron plate legs. I'm actually going to try and hold on to the steel, because I'd rather save it. Right now, we can only make a steel axe. Which actually might be an upgrade for us. I might make just a steel, just one steel axe. But like daggers and axes aren't going to sell for much. So I'd rather save it to we're a little bit higher. And we've got a decent amount of iron. I don't know how many we actually have. 43 maybe. So I can make it a fair few plate legs and hopefully get a couple more levels. I might still st save the steel then. If we don't desperately need money. Depending on what we're up to then. We'll have to see. Yeah we got 43 iron and 55 steel. So... And 3k cash. 3.8k. We need 5,200, I think, for a myth plate. Alright, so we're just going to make as many plate legs as we can. This will probably be the most expensive item I've been able to create and sell so far. Let's have a look. Value, 168, 162, 156. I think I'm good with two per world. I think that might be the play. I don't mind hopping if we need to hop. Oh, we almost got enough for it just off that one indent. Just gonna double check we don't already have a steel axe as well. I'm pretty sure ours is iron. Yeah, iron axe we've got, so steel is an upgrade. Ooh, genius thought. If I make like half of them into legs, half of them into skirts, I'll have to hop less. I did too many there, I think. Yeah, I did one too many of the legs, but oh well. I guess we'll just make the rest into axes and sell them at the general store. We may as well turn this iron into a sword. Oh, he doesn't buy swords. I'm dumb. Guess I saw that at the general store too. Cool, we now have a myth plate body. Axed up, stacked up. And the steel axe. 80 coins each for an axe isn't bad. Do two per world. I've got to be careful not to accidentally buy something that somebody else has sold to a shop because that would be against Iron Man rules and I'm not trying to break Iron Man rules. I saw some jewellery just then in the shop as I was hopping away and I thought, oh, that could be good. But then I remembered, no, it's only there because somebody else has sold it to the general store. So we have to be very careful buying things from shops so I don't accidentally break the Iron Man rules in an unintended way. Right, I'm actually going to hold off on what I was planning to do and going to kill the, the thingamajiggies. I want to get some better food. So I'm taking all my tools with me to try and get some better food. Because there's loads of fishing spots on the island and Evil Bob was kind enough to give us 13 fishing levels. So right now, I'm going to make my way to the herring spot. Where can you get a herring? You ask. I hear you ask. You can get a herring. I lied, we can't get a herring. We are going to the sardine spot. I was sure there was one in... I'm sure I saw a herring spot. Isn't it just the same as... It's just the same as a shrimp, isn't it? Like anchovies. I'm going down here and I'm going to find out what fish we can catch. And I'm going to catch some fish and cook some fish. And I'm going to do that until I think I'm on like 20 fishing and cooking. Because then there is a spot for trout and cod and pike near the bandits that I want to kill up here. So I'm thinking I can just take my tinderbox and my axe with me and top up on food as and when I need it and just stick around there for a while, you know. Unless they're dropping loads of stuff that we need to bank, but accepting that should be a, a nice chill strategy. Yes, yeah, so we've got small net here. We can bait that too, right? Yeah, it's not showing up on the wiki for some reason as a spot, but pretty sure this is a herring spot. It was a red herring all along. <laughs> Sorry, my puns are awful to this. There we go. They said it couldn't be done. They said it didn't exist in Valamore. I said, how come the guy in Forty sells them in his shop then? They said, just go look at the spot. There isn't a herring spot there. I said, I will. And I found herring. That went on a bit longer than I expected. Fucking speedy these fish though, aren't they? I just figured I'd use up all this bait as well and then I can move on to the, the nets. The bait was just random drops from those thieves that I kept picking up because it stacked. We can get it in a shop, but it's a bit of a trek, so may as well just use what we have instead and then we'll be on feathers anyway when we're actually fishing our, our food that we want. How about 14 fishing? Man, 14 fishing was so yesterday. I'm talking about 15. 
Man, I bet modern players don't know how to do any of this shit. Like, that guy's cooking on a campfire? He brought an axe with him to the to the riverside? What is he doing? This is some classic RuneScape shit right here. We don't buy them from the GE, then cook them in the range. Get them out of the water with our bare hands like true barbarians. Also, petition to Jagex if any of you see this. Make barbarian archery a thing where they just lob arrows at you. Like, literally just let, let people throw arrows without a bow. Because it'll be funny as fuck. Like, obviously it'd be less good. But it could be based off your strength level instead of, like, range level necessarily. So if you had a super high strength setup, you could just, like, lob arrows at someone and that'd be fun. Oh, what, you're shooting those dragon arrows with me? I didn't see you pick up a dark bow. Nah, nah, I'm just throwing them. Just yeeting them at your face. I don't think this food's actually going to be any good, so I'm just going to drop it. So that we can carry on getting our levels up. That's why we're here right now, not for this as food. If her fishing level's under 16, she's too young for you, bro. Two fire making and 13 cooking. Oh, that's the last of our bait done. I'm just gonna, like, run up and down the coast a little, because I'm sure there's a mackerel spot somewhere. Isn't that here? Big net spot. It doesn't say it on this overlay, but it's letting me fish here. I don't feel like it would. Or maybe I can just get, like, random shit. Real seaweed. Yeah, I got mackerel. Okay, we can fish here. We're actually already good on the cooking levels. You don't need as high of a cooking level for trout as you do fishing. So we can already cook the trout. We just need 20 fishing to get to it. Okay, maybe that's not that great. I am getting like a lot of crap. I'll just try the small boat for spots because it'll be more consistent. Plus we can get anchovies here as well. Not just shrimp. Bigger XP. It's actually twice that old mackerel is, so. Oh, we got a clue ball. Medium. We can never do that. Backstorian Falls is not within any of our regions. Oh, there's our 20 fishing. No reason for us to be here anymore. We got like 800 feathers in the bank, so we've got plenty of those to use with the fly fishing rod. I think it's time for the first trip. Out to the bandits, folks. It's time to clean up Valamore. Take out the trash. Woody Wild does not let bandits and outlaws encroach on the, the good people of Valamore. It is my duty to go clean them up. Thieves, bandits. Only I'm allowed to steal cakes around here, bitch. Just ignore all the chickens I'm murdering and pockets I'm picking. I am the hero of all the more needs. Oh, we've got a steel plate body to spell, sell, apparently. Just chuck that there for now. In fact, I'll put it in this tab as it's not a piece of gear that we're using. Yeah, I guess I'll just take a few cakes. I'm not sure how much trout actually heal. I think it's probably like seven or eight. There's actually an altar nearby as well, so I'm very tempted to just like use prayer. I don't know how long it'll last if I'm just leaving it on the 34 seconds. That's not very long, is it? Because I've got three different prayers on. If we're using ranged on magic, that'd be much more of an option, I think. I guess it'll always be there to top up if I, I'm flicking and lose a couple points though. Look at this, it's beautiful. We've got our own little pier. <laughs> There's three fire making as we burn our very first trout. Okay, maybe I should have cooked some more fish after we already had the cooking level. I just started dropping it all raw because I was like, ah, hey, we got the cooking level, we're good. Oh, it'll improve with time, I guess. I don't know how much these actually are. It's probably not that much, is it? It's probably like five or six. Oh, look at that rate. Just two burned out of the last batch. I'm fine with that. I probably want a couple of invent spaces anyway for any loot we hopefully get. Still hoping and praying for those air runes. They are a better drop rate here though. So let's see how we fare against the bandits today. Already a much better start than when we tried them the other day. Okay. Okay, they can hit hard though. Steel sim. That's not bad loot. Seven we get from a trout. That's okay. That's okay. Because these guys hit quite hard. But seven is not bad. Hey, it keeps resetting what ground items are hidden. Like, I did not ask you to put this shit on here. Stop adding it to my list. Okay, ashes you can hide. Yeah. We're actually clearing these guys out. I'm pretty sure there's four of them and 
tag them now so we should see the respawn timers and stuff so we can actually figure out. I'm, I'm fairly certain there's four, maybe there's only three. Seems to be quite a low timer though. There's six chaos runes. Quite a slow timer. <laughs> Yeah, there are four of them, and they have like a minute respawn timer. It's a good job we're not killing them too fast. I think we're probably at a bang on around the right level to be killing them between their own respawns. And I knew it was a good idea to get some sort of refillable food supply from nearby so I didn't have to keep going to the bank because they do hit hard and frequently. I don't want to have to focus on my defense, I want to get my DPS up. 30 hit points. Big numbers. No luck so far on the air runes, but the kill time's pretty decent. Getting similar drops that we were at the Thieves, but more GP, more raw GP from the size of the coin drops, so that's nice. It's a nice bonus. It's still not much, obviously, but at the early stages of an Iron Man, especially a region-locked Iron Man with a limited amount of options for things both to make money and to spend it. Like, I can't argue with the prices in the shops. They are what they are and they're not changing. And they're quite rough. Especially if you're getting into the adamant and rune items. So any extra GP helps here. Plus we'll need like things for crafting supplies so we can make our jewellery. There's 32 attack coming in. I am out of food, so I'm gonna make a quick pit stop down by the river in a second. I think I'm actually gonna swap over to strength as well for after that because I'm feeling pretty accurate at the moment, but higher hits are always nice. Getting a lot more Guam specifically from these. I don't know if that's just RNG on this occasion or if they generally do drop a lot more Guam than the thieves that we're fighting. Well, I did. We did get a lot of Guam there, but like in comparison, I feel like we've got four out of six being Guam is a lot compared to that. But yeah, maybe that's just RNG. It's very small sample size still. Is cod bait rather than fish? Is that why I'm not catching cod yet? I think it's worse than trout anyway. It's worse XP. We'll start getting pike eventually though, I think. Or salmon. One of them. These spots get better, that's all I know. Yes, we got our first air rune drop there. That is eight in the pocket. That'll be some more casts of wind strike. We are almost at water strike actually, so we can get even more XP out of each cast then. And we're not far from level seven, which is all we need to enchant ourselves a piece of jewelry for one more of our tasks. I don't think I'm gonna focus too high on magic or, or ranged actually until getting out of Valamore. I am gonna be doing a melee pretty much solo as my stat. And there is a reason behind that. We are supposed to take two styles into the fight against this guard for Twilight's Promise. However, I have read up that you can stop him from ever praying against your style by using a different style on the right attack. Basically, if, you, if I hit three times with melee, but then my fourth attack is ranged or mage, he gets confused because I didn't attack four times in a row with the same style and goes, oh, I guess I won't use protection prayers. So I basically will be going like three melee, then chucking a knife at him, then three melee, chucking a knife at him. And hopefully he'll never pray against us that way and we can just get some decent melee stats. I'm thinking I'll go all the way up to like 40, 40, 30 
And I have to stop talking here because we just got the biggest drop that we could have got here. The rarest one. The one that we wanted more than anything. Oh, that's so good. We've already had an Aaron drop and a Steel Pickaxe on our very first trip to the Bandits. I couldn't be more happy with how this is gone. We've got some fishing levels and some cooking levels too, just passively alongside it. Like, these are just all solid developments in every aspect of the account right now. Any skill that we have access to, we have at least started training it. Other than, I guess, maybe farming, construction, everything else. Crafting, we haven't yet, but I have plans to. I'm just waiting for the right time. Fantastic first trip. I mean, that steel pickaxe. That's going to be our best pickaxe until we unlock Cam to Rum, which might sound bad. And it is. Because <laughs> we're not going to unlock Cam to Rum until after the wilderness. Because the wilderness is where we get Slayer. We basically can't do Slayer before that point because we could accidentally lock ourselves out of the skill if we do anything other than Wilderness Slayer, which is why it's one of my regions. That and the whole Wild West theme. Okay, these bandits are aggressive, so I'm going to go hide up here while I go for a smoke. <laughs> oh, I just hit a six on prayer that wasn't a max. I think our max hit with prayer on the strength style has gone up to seven. Keep it that way till it's like that off prayer. Yep, there we go. That's a seven. I'll keep flicking then until we're seeing sevens off prayer. And then I'll do another level or so beyond that before I try another style. Man, three chaos rune drops we've had here. We're stacking those up for whenever we do get to the level, though. It will be a while away. It's honestly crazy how much air runes are worth compared to every other type for me right now. And how hard it is for me to get them. A steel longsword? Money? Ooh, you got an emerald. It's our first one. Amulet of defense, here I come. Man, I feel like the way we're living off the lay of the land here is, is definitely contributing to the whole Wild West experience. I'm so in character. What he's been in the wild his whole life, y'all. His whole life. This is nothing new. 21 cooking. Five fire making boogers, a fuck about that. Get a few more kills in on this trip before I'm forced to bank. 33 strength. I'll see if I can hit sevens off for it. No, that was a 6 max. Back to flicking. There's a hit points level though, 36 combat and 31 hit points. Another steel sim. I mean, at this point, it's looking like by the time we have the levels for Adamant Gear, we're going to have the cash from it. Just from the raw coin drops here and the steel items that we're going to be able to sell to the sword shop when we get back to the city. And we're also stacking up even more of those lovely, lovely herbs. Which will certainly come in handy in the future. Of course, it is the runes that we really want, along with the XP. All the combat XP is good. I'm thinking like 40, 40, 30. I can't remember if I already said that. And I want that rune mace from Spike Shop. And I want as much adamant as I can get, which will be plate, top, legs, helm. I don't think there's anywhere I can buy a shield better than what I can make, so I may have to grind up to steel kite shield. Just make sure I'm absolutely kitted out, and then I want to try take on that guy in the Colosseum. I don't know, hopefully I'm, we can get all that done today, because I'm still quite early in my day, so... I've already got tons of footage to edit at this stage, but I feel like we can at least have a go at him before I end the first episode, and... Yeah, there's not much point getting four fish to come back here. I'm just gonna go and bank now. Get all these herbs out of my inventory. Sell up the swords, like I say. Bank the steel pick. It was a very profitable first trip. 30 chaos runes, eight air runes, about 800 coins plus, probably about 600 more. I don't know, in steel items. We did 72 bandits in total. That Aaron drops like a 1 in 18 now, by the way. So it is very unlucky still, the amount that we've hit. We should have had it much more by now. Same as with the Thieves, we went way, way under on how many times we should have hit the Aaron drop. I don't know what it is. This game just doesn't want to give me Aarons, even though I am doing the most optimal thing possible to get myself Aarons. Okay, if we're going to the shop, we may as well take this steel plate as well. I'll recharge by the time I get back there. Got a fish first anyway. Oh, I didn't bank this. So we're on 2277. Uh, make that 3477 because we had that plate body already. 
These sell for 240 each. These sell for 300 each. How much does the second sim sell for though? 232. That's fine. Look at that. We're back to 4k. Okay, we're going to need like 21k for... No, 23k for Adamant. Alright. I think that's right. I don't want a drunken dwarf on my third account. Yeah, I'm playing all three accounts right now. Yeah, 23,000 we're going to need, so it's going to take a while still. But it's a promising start to say we just gained like 2,000 gold from that one trip out there. And like I say, it is the most efficient way for me to possibly gain errands right now. I'm just getting unlucky with it. Very happy to add the steel pickaxe to my collection. We'll make any cash grinding we do have to do for the shortfall on that Addy set a bit better. I have no idea how much the rune mace is going to cost us too much. I'll say that for free. Eh, I don't need a full invent, I'll do for now. Yes! Another Aaron drop. Second kill of the trip. Oh, let's go, baby. Like three or four kills later. Oh, we got a hundred coin drop from that one. Crazy. We didn't just kill two in the same place, did I? No, that was a 100 GP drop. I thought they dropped 50 at most, but I might have been the first 100 I'd seen. I think it was actually. 34 strength. Steel long sword. Did we get a max hit without prayer? Oh, back to flicking. Might just go all the way up to 40 strength before switching, to be honest. There's 19 prayer. Those levels definitely come in fewer and further between at this stage. Still on the old 4.5 XP per bone. Like, that rate has not improved, and we now need more and more XP between each level. So it's not going to get us all the way to 30. We're going to need some big bones or something. I don't know. I need to figure it out. There's so much that would be solved if we had Cam to Rome and Nip Oatsley, but I don't know, mate. I might check if you can start the quest before having the required stats. If you can start the quest, kill the sulfur, and get inside the city, then that'd actually be huge for me. I don't think you'll be able to. I think it'll tell you you don't have the levels. But it's worth checking, right? Oh, you have to have done Twilight's Promise, though, so we couldn't get in for that reason anyway. Isn't the map meant to show where you are? Did I, I must have clicked it by accident. We're actually pretty close right now, so I'm, I'm considering going down there just to see what the message it is that it gives me, like, I mean, you can't do this quest. Because if it just says, because you haven't done Twilight's Promise, then maybe we can get in after doing Twilight's Promise. Oh, and yeah, we got another Steel Pickaxe. Apparently, they're more common than errands. Right, I'm going to allow myself to get distracted. We're off to see what the racist dwarves have got to say for themselves. Probably just go away, but I'm hoping they at least tell me why they want me to go away, and not just to go away. If it tells me you can't do this because you don't have Twilight's Promise, and that's all it says, then I have a shred of hope. You do not meet all of the requirements. That's all it says. Oh, that's so unhelpful. Why well, if I just try walking? No, I want to admire them from inside. What if I kill the guards? We can't even attack the guards! What the hell? <sighs> okay. Guess we're going back to the bandits. Come on, show me a seven without prayer. That was a six that wasn't a max hit. Thank fuck I don't have to flick anymore. Okay, we'll do like one more level of strength at least. And then see if it's allowing us to get a... Uh, Max it on defensive, because I think I want to get some extra defense levels. We're eating a lot here. It'd save me fishing time if I don't have to go over there as often. Yes! Another air rune drop. Get in. We're slowly building our collection. We spent all of these ones yesterday, so 32 is the current count. But ultimately, we only need it for enchanting a piece of jewelry, which is level 7. So we just have to get to level 7, basically. And then we can find ourselves a, a cosmic rune. And yeah, I don't have to flick anymore, but I'm doing it out of muscle memory at this stage. I should eat. That was a good time to eat. Is it hit points level? Mmm, mmm, mmm! Let's go. Oh, let's actually go. Yeah, let's go. 6 HP, no food. <laughs> Back to the pier. So 40 air runes got us... 
355 magic XP. We double that, we got 700 magic XP. What level does that put us at? Level 7. I think we've we've got all the runes we need, actually. Shit. I mean, it might be different depending on damage numbers and shit like that. So, I'm going to keep going because we wanted to train our melee stats up further anyway. So, this is like definitely the best thing for me to be killing right now because more magic levels, the better. When we get to Mistlin, it'll be so, so much easier to level up our magic, of course. So, I'm not trying to overdo it here. But there's nothing better for me to kill at this level anyway. Like, I'm only just going to be killing, like, rock crabs and I won't get anything from them, so. Oh, the fire burn out. It's cool. I'm going to use the bandits. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm cooking and fighting. Thanks for the campfire, motherfucker. A hundred big ones. Oh, let's go! Thank you, Mr. GD. I think I'll definitely be putting that on prayer again. Although there is a little temptation with magic. Like I said, I think we've got the runes we need for now, so... Prayer will be the biggest roadblock. We have to get all the way to 30 still. We've only regular bones to work with unless we start killing moss giants. Or hill giants, but hill giants drop tables significantly worse than moss giants for the relative difference in... Difficulty. In fact, it might just get as a prayer level. Oh no. I thought that one was the one that gave you twice as much. Must be the other way around the books. The dunce is the better one, the genius, the slightly less value. Still, decent chunk there. Not all mad at 190 prayer XP. Moment of truth. Can we hit sevens on block? No. How about with prayer? Yes. Uh, I think I'd rather just get another strength level. <laughs> oh, I'm such a runescape player, aren't I? We love our strength levels. These guys have actually have a stacked drop table for their level. Let me actually get them up and compare, do like a comparison with the guards in the city. Because I feel like these guys' drop table is way better than just the average guard. And uh, a similar combat level, though they do hit a bit more. Bit higher. Yes, we got another air rune drop. Oh my gosh. I didn't see it because I was still hitting a guy. I didn't realize we'd got a kill. More chaos runes. Very nice. Kill this guy, then I just want to step away for a sec so I can do this comparison with y'all. Should probably get a little more food anyway. I'll send my guy to do some fishing. So we got bandits on the left, guards on the right. There's a fishing level. I might need to. No, it's still fishing. All good. Bandit on the left, guard on the right. Bandits have slightly higher health, but less attack, more strength, and more defense. Interesting. But less melee defenses specifically, so doing them with melee would do them quicker than we would guards. The rune drops, we don't get fire runes, or nature runes, or blood runes, but these, like, blood runes and nature runes are less valuable to us right now. Because we can't use blood runes, we can't even use nature runes right now. So while they are valuable, just maybe not for us at this moment in time. So that doesn't really matter. The arrows, they only drop one at a time, so yeah, doesn't matter. We don't have a crossbow, so this is irrelevant. The seeds could be nice, because we could get started on farming if we got some of these seeds. But we don't need a lot of them, so there's no point really repeat farming them for seeds. And then... Other than that, the coin drops, instead of going from 1 to 30 with the guard, we go from 1 to 100, baby. And there's so many l more low drops in there than there is in here. We've got 110, and then it's all the way up to 35. That's not even that bad. That's higher than the highest one from a guard, you know, which is a 1 in 64 drop. That's a 1 in 5 drop here. And then we've got herbs as well, which we can't get from guards. We've got the gem drop table which we can't get from guards. Clue scroll medium's the same for both. An iron ore randomly here isn't that relevant. Body talisman doesn't matter, grin's irrelevant. Iron daggers don't sell for very much. And the steel weapons that we get do sell for a decent amount. So the bandit is low key one of the, the like, I didn't even know they existed until I started this series and started looking up air runes. <laughs> okay, I didn't know they existed. I'm sure many other people 
didn't know they existed until they watched this video. But the bandits are low-key fire for a new account. At least one that can't get air runes anywhere else. Ooh, it's two minutes past four. Do you think I can get this strength level before 420? That is the question. Who needs to smith items? Just kill bandits, man. Getting more steel items here than I've made from my entire smithing journey so far. The fact that they're aggressive is actually kind of nice as well, because it lets me AFK them a little. Just have to keep an eye on the HP and make sure it doesn't go too low. Another air rune drop there, let's go, just towards the end of this trip, slash session. Been recording for four hours now, and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go make some paella. Some rice, with some cubes of bacon, and some chorizo. Maybe some pepperoni if there's any in the fridge. There is the strength level, run away, don't wanna die. Don't wanna die. Don't know if we can hit sevens or not. I'm sure we'll find out when we get back to it. Or oh, I will anyway, yeah. After I eat, I'm probably just gonna play a bit off camera. I'm just gonna be killing bandits some more, farming more air runes hopefully, and more experience. I wanna get these levels up even higher. I want the strength up to 40, I want the defense up to 30, and probably the attack up to 40 as well, so we can get hold of that rune mace. And yeah, then I'll be moving on to some more exciting stuff, so I guess I'll check in with you guys when I'm ready to move on to the more exciting stuff in a couple of hours. First though, let's just pop back to the city while I've still got a few minutes before 4.20. We can get some cash here from the Swords and Sims. Should be some nice, lovely profit to add to the coffers, building it towards the eventual investment of adamant and rune items. I might just keep my cash stack on me, because we get cash drops anyway, so it's not like I'm saving an invent space by not bringing it. I'm gonna chuck this pickaxe in the shop as well, since so it's the second one. We do still have one in the bank. That's like 200 GP. Oh, look at all the money! We could get ourselves some legs. We don't need to get though. I want to keep the money. The money's mine. Right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit when I've done some more training. Two hours later. Well, I've just been chilling at the bandits, and we've got a decent amount done there, up to 32, 40, 30. So it's just my attack levels I want to get up now, a bit higher up to 40 so we can wield the room mace however i looked it up the room mace is 18k and we're still 13k off our adamant set that's minus the helm as well so we need to make a lot of money we basically like if i want to buy everything that i currently want i'm gonna need like 40k and we've got 10. so i've been trying to think of a good way to make money quickly because we, we've built up a passive bit over time here but it's not it's not enough for the sort of expenditure that i'm trying to make so i've come up with a plan and it might be terrible but i'm gonna try it and see just stopping at the bank first ah oh, the air rune stack is looking pretty let me tell you and this clue step we can actually do it as a drone or village clue look at that we got 112 air runes it's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful all right then now that I'm here, the location of everything is looking nice. So here's the plan. We take this iron bar. We turn it into a med helm. We trade third. Sell the iron med helm for 33 GP. Hop worlds. Repeat. I was going to time how long it took me to do one invent, but because they're all so close position to each other, I think it's better to just do it one bar at a time, simply because we're hopping anyway. We may as well, right? We're hopping anyway to pick up the bars, so we may as well just make them and sell them in one go rather than making them and then getting worse value or having to hop again. This is actually pretty quick it seems, but the, it's very obviously very slow profit, you know, 33 GP a world is not uh, exactly millions. But we're getting free smithing XP as well, which is a factor. Because I was thinking about it, and to smith gold, we actually need level 40 smithing, we're still on 31. And that is going to take an awful lot of iron or steel, and thus coal. So, getting free smithing XP here, without having to bother mining loads of stuff, is kind of nice, actually. So yeah, I'm just going to do this for a little bit, I guess, just see how I feel about it after 10 minutes or so. 
And the only reason I thought that I should do it at this shop rather than just hopping picking up the bars is because there's not really a bank anywhere near here. So like picking an inventory of bars and taking them to Smith into something else doesn't really make sense. I suppose I could pick up five, make a plate body and do that until I have a full inventory of plate bodies and that'd probably be relatively efficient. But I can't make plate bodies just yet, so I need one more level now. Yeah, this place is super out of the way and the closest bank is to run around up to there, which isn't exactly great. But it takes a while to fill up and invent plate bodies anyway, so the banking wouldn't be that often. I think I'm liking that idea now more they do sell for like 300 GP a piece. Just gonna get one more level first, which is 69 more hops. Okay, that seems like a lot. I'm gonna do legs. Med helms is just too much interfacing. I think it cuts the time. Full helms, it was actually worse as well. They sell for 61 and they take two bars to make, so you'd actually get less money out of it. Though it would be faster XP. Iron plate legs sell for 168, but the plate bodies sell for 336. Okay, yeah, this is actually feeling really slow. I don't think I'm going to do this at all. But I do think I'm going to make an investment. That is a big chunk of cash gone, but I think it's worth it. We've got the Adamant Full Helm, a huge upgrade from the Iron Full Helm we were using before. Don't have any other Adamant Armor yet, but we do have the Myth Plate in top and legs. So, right, I'm going to see what steel we have, because I know we've got some steel bars. If I can make enough for the full Addy now, I might be tempted to have a shot at the fight. Okay, we're heading back to the capital, but I'm going to get a run of iron on the way. May as well sort of stop by this iron mine and then sort of like triangle over to the furnace. But yeah, you can see how much closer this bank is to the iron mine. It's literally like two clicks. One to get to the midway point and then one for the, the next destination. Steel pickaxe is doing absolute bits right now. First time using it. There's 40 mining. Still at our highest level skill. Well, now again our highest level skill. Sorry, strength was also on 40. We're certainly making some solid headway with these skills. Oh, so quick. I only recharged 18 run energy. The first thing I do when I get to Mr. Linda is running laps and drain our village until I'm like level 30 whatever the requirement for Varrock is, and then I'm running run a laps of Varrock instead. Yeah, 30. The past three days, it's been a walking simulator. I had to put a pestle of mortar and a vial of water there, but no fucking eye of new. The other thing that you need to make potions is disrespectful. Okay, so the steel med helm sold for 120 each, so that's not that bad. The maces were only 90, but for one bar, 120 it seems okay. But that does take two pieces of coal and one piece of iron to make so it's time consuming I, I can't figure out what the best approach is here i'm just trying to make the most of the resources that i already have because i don't know how much more money we'll need after this before we leave valmore like i don't think we'll need that much because we pretty much will have got all the gear that's available to us within valmore at that point like the the addy plate and the rune mace are the most expensive things here. They're the only things here that w that we can improve with with our looking more areas. So. Okay, we still need about 30k. I did splash on that helmet though, so that basically just got us back to where we were before I bought it. Okay, we could get the legs now, and I think I will. We need 16 at 640 for the plate body. After that, the rune mace is 19k. But we don't actually have the attack level for it yet anyway. I think, though, I'm going to go and have a whack at the boss. I'm going to see if I can do it. I say boss, it's not really a boss, but to us, it's a boss. I'm just going to have to run back to the store and check something here. I don't know how much these are going to sell for. I don't think it'll be enough to get me an Addy Plate body, because we'd, we'd need 9k, which is not going to be because the high health values. But I can at least sell the plate legs off now and keep the plate body until... Later, I just want to know how much it does sell for because then we can subtract that from the total that we need. Oh, they sell for elk value. Okay, 3120. That's not bad. That to put us on like we'd need basically 13,500. So we only need like 4 more K. That's actually not that bad at all. Do I just go and get 4K? Ah, fuck it. I said I was going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. 
then we can at least get a frame of reference in our head for how rough this is. Although I didn't get any food. I didn't prepare any food. I guess we'll just send it and see what happens. Okay, we've got cakes. I guess we can take a full invent of cakes. Well, this is the gear set up for our first time in the Colosseum, folks. Not counting the tiny test we did to see if we could safe spot the dude. I'm gonna need some knives as well, so I can throw them on the off after every third attack, basically. And then I guess it's just potions the rest of the way. Cakes even, because that's all we have. Oh, I'm gonna need to wait for my run energy to recharge as well, ah. Uh, so that I can kite him when I need to. And have my auto retaliate off so I don't accidentally attack too many times and make him pro. Alright folks, I'm pretty sure this is not gonna go very well, but here we go, our first attempt, let's do it. And the very worst thing that can happen is we fail and try again. So... You know, is it that bad? Okay, hopefully that's how we do it for this whole fight. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, he is hitting hard. We hit a seven. Because the cakes are so slow to heal, I am going to have to try and, like, just eat down a lot. Oh no, fuck, I fucked it up. Okay, it's fine, we should be able to get him to swap over to praying from range. There we go. Two, three, in with a ranged attack. Oh no, he did swap back. Okay, so we're just going to have to use ranged <laughs> until he goes back over. And then we're actually getting this done, though. Would have been so much nicer if we'd brought like salmon in that we're healing nine apiece so uh, that we didn't waste so many attack cycles. Waited for my run energy to recharge and not run like the whole time. What am I doing? Should have been doing that while I was eating. I think we're actually gonna get this. Holy shit. Good, but he's on long range. Oh my gosh, I left my prayer on by accident. Big hits. Come on. Yes. Get in there. We actually did it, y'all. That means we can do the rest of the Twilight's Promise. Holy shit. I don't know if I do it in this video or if that's like the end of the video because I said that that was sort of my goal for the video was to kill that guy and we just killed him. It puts us pretty much halfway through the Valamor task list, right? Because we're halfway through Twilight's Promise. We're past the dangerous point of Twilight's Promise. We can finish off the rest fairly easily now. Then all we have to do is create a piece of enchanted jewelry and sacrifice some bone shards. Nine more prayer levels, three more magic levels, a cosmic rune, and we're out of Alamore, y'all. I think that's going to have to wrap up the first episode, honestly. I'm really excited about that. And... I guess I'm going to go and AFK my attack up to 40 before I start recording the next one while I edit this. Maybe on Lost Giants? I don't know if we'll be able to tank them reliably, but I think I'm going to try. Oh, I shouldn't do that off camera though, should I? Okay, if, I, if I'm AFKing something, I'll make it something that we've already killed a lot of, like bandits. Or just sand crabs, you know. Nothing that's actually interesting. But yeah, I'm super pumped. It's been a really good first episode. We've got 375 total level as well, which is actually super nice. 42 combat level. We're starting to look pretty good, y'all. I, I think this has been a fantastic start. Hopefully you all agree with me. Please let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the start to this series. Something new, obviously, that I'm doing here and something very different with the weird sort of raw set that is coming packaged with it. But I've enjoyed myself so far. I'm already super mentally invested in this account. So I hope everyone gets on board as much as I am. And special shouts out to the two people who donated bonds to help get it off the ground. If anyone else wants to donate a bond, feel free to hit me up whenever you see me online on Woody Wild. You can come and give me a bond as long as you come to one of the zones where I'm currently able to be. <laughs> I will take them. But yeah, shouts to the two people that already did that. I don't want to call that in case they don't want me to, but thank you. Appreciate it kindly. Greatly. And yeah, hit me up in the comments, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks if you're new around here and you've just checked out the new series, I appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the like button too. I think so. It's time for our first log out on the series. Fade to log out screen. The old classic.
Don't forget to look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.